The Karnataka Congress has announced its third big bowl promise today ahead of the state assembly elections. Now, the party has promised 10 kg free rice to all below poverty line families. Now, this would be a continuation of the party's Anna Bhagya scheme announced in 2013. Now, the party will also distribute guarantee cards signed by DK Shivakumar and Siddharamaya to assure voters of their promises. Now, the announcement comes after the party earlier announced free electricity up to 200 units to every household and rupees 2,000 monthly cash assistance for homemakers. Now, two poll promises that are expected to cost the state exchequer of rupees 40,000 to 42,000 crore annually. Now, during the announcement, Congress slammed Baswaraj Bomai and Narendra Modi, claiming that it was Manmohan Singh who brought the Food Security Act and no free ration was being distributed by the current central government. More than 40 years in politics and Mr. B.S. Yadurappa, in fact, delivered his farewell speech in the Assembly yesterday. Joining us right now to just give us a glimpse of how his relationship has been with the senior politician over the years is Mr. D.K. Shivakumar, President of the Congress Party. Sir, I'd like to ask you, you know, he has been a veteran for all of these years, sir. In your engagements with him, how do you view him, of course, as a politician and even otherwise in the other circles? Uh, no doubt uh, on ideology, myself, Edurapa, we have a lot of uh, differences. We have fought each other. And now the way he has built his party, from the scratch he has built the party, no doubt he has to be built under his leadership. Under right. Let me uh, cut across to my colleague Neha, who is joining me live on the broadcast. Neha, of course, you know, the heat for the elections uh, for Karnataka is clearly out there. Of course, every party is going to be doing their best in terms of campaigning. Also, all these promises as well. In fact, when we did see Priyanka Gandhi visit Karnataka as well, she did talk about what she would like to do for the women in Karnataka. But talk to us about the Congress, um, you know, poll promises per se. What is it that they're promising and how is the BJP really countering this now? Well, you know, interestingly, of course, the Congress party in Karnataka had always maintained, at least as far as the recent months are concerned, that they are going to be, you know, coming out with poll promises on development. And, you know, in fact, now the BJP, of course, has gone on to very strongly react to this and say that, you know, this is nothing but a form of advanced corruption, that even before the party has gone into the elections, even before they've come to power now, uh, you know, that they're, in fact, going on to promise people this. Now, where are they really getting the funding for this, of course, is something that the BJP has raised questions about. But with that being said, you know, of course, one thing has been made very clear that as the state is closing in on the elections right now, as we're approaching, you know, just a couple of weeks now left to go, that it seems like the fight over here, you know, is getting quite intense. Just today we had the BJP, in fact, you know, going on to launch its vehicle as well, you know, for the Rathi Yatra that they're going to actually be carrying out across the state. And on the other hand, today you have the Congress going on to promise 10 kgs of rice to every, uh, you know, member of a BPL household. This is important here because, you know, the Anna Bhagya scheme during Sidramaya's tenure in 2013 had, of course, you know, drawn a lot of attention back then. And even today, in fact, you know, the Karnataka Congress, as they were responding to comments by Mr. Amit Shah as well against the criticism against their party, has gone on to say that, you know, all of this is just coming at a time when the Congress, in fact, you know, is confident that they're going to be coming back to power in the state.